a big SEC battle today as Auburn hosts number five, Texas A&M, riding a five-game winning streak. Their longest since they joined the SEC. Fisher says he's having, by far, his best season. They start with the run fake and the toss. And it's Anaya Smith who does a little bit of everything for the Aggies, and they pick up 14 on the first play of the game. The ball in tight spaces. Meyer, former basketball player. Here's the toss to Isaiah Spiller, leading rusher in the SEC. And they're moving very briskly on these first three plays. They're to the Auburn 41. Spiller's a guy that knows. Left guard Kenyon Green is a sophomore. The rest of them are seniors. Nice cut by Isaiah Spiller. And he's inside the 15. What I'm really going to look for on third down is that tight end, Jalen Weidemeyer. Big body. Three wide receivers out there as well. Short set by Mon. Corner to the end zone. And it is Weidemeyer for a touchdown. Beautiful route on the corner route. He moved the defender inside. You can see his pass receiving skills. Take a look at the end of this. Make sure he got one foot in. There's the catch. Left foot in. Yep. Williams in single coverage. He's a big body receiver, very dependable. Sean Shivers with the first Auburn first down of the game as he ran to the That's good start. A little better start. Yeah. yeah, good start for your alma mater. Running wide, Shivers running down the field. Shivers and almost running all the way to the end zone. It was Carper again, who might have been the last line of defense. Single coverage on Seth Williams. Nix fires behind his intended target, but caught by Seth Williams. Todd Blackledge, as usual, on his prediction game today. They're in the field goal try from Anders Carlson. On target from beautiful babies and what a little just shining light in their life with beautiful Kaylin Grace, Kalani Grace. Big hole in a big game. It's Devon H.A. through the middle and out to the linemen. And their ability to sustain blocks and work well together, very impressive. Opening another big hole for H.A. And he can really fly. And if Jamie and Sherwood didn't get him down, he would have flown to the end zone. He's inside the 25, first and 10, Aggie. See, now here's what I want you to see. Watch the left tackle, Dan Moore and Kenyon Green. Double team, then get to the next level. Pick up the middle linebacker, and that opens up the hole when you can. Third down and goal. Mon faked it to spill it. He's running out of time. Just did get it off. To Weidemeyer, who gets pulled down just shy of the goal line. Well, first of all, 28 yard try, and he pulled it wide left. So a big stop by the Auburn defense. And a poor kick by Seth Small, who had missed only once all year. And they arrived here in the loveliest village on the plains. Oh, Nick sings one beautiful throw. Seth Williams still on his feet and down at the Aggie 26. This is the SEC freshman of the year last year. Takes off running. He's inside the 10 and down near the 5. Nice read by Bo Nix. He reads that game. Clearly, he wasn't close to 100%. They replace him with Shivers, Nix under duress, got away, how did he do it? Now he has blockers in front of him, Bo Nix to the goal line, what a touchdown! Here comes Kellen Mond and the Aggies starting from the 25. And here they go again. They've been moving the ball at will, it seems, but still just the seven points. Smoke Monday made the stop. And then using the clock, they have plenty of time. They don't want to leave Auburn time. And this possession's over. A chain moving the chains. First down inside the 30. 
time. Weidemeyer was the lead blocker. He's the guy that's going to get the block on Papau. And for zero, there's the block. Smoke Monday with a missed tackle from his free safety position. Minute and a half to go. Mound a strike. Anaya Smith fell down as he tried to cut her. He might start using its timeouts here. Time is not a problem for AM. Isaiah Spiller, powerful, refusing to give up. The Maroon Goons giving him a shove to help him along, and finally it stopped at the one yard line. And down here, uh, close. Mon keeps this time, and it's a touchdown. Well, last week, Kellen Mon made a, a mistake you don't see a veteran guy make. He stuck the ball out on a quarterback sneak on a third and one play. That time, he protected the ball, did not go well, at the half. 14 to 10 Auburn, 174 rushing yards in the first half, the most for AM in three years under Jimbo Fisher. Look at Auburn with the ball first here in the third quarter. Bo Nix comes out with a play action pass. Now scrambles away from some pressure. Look at him go again. Bo Nix almost got to midfield. He had a spectacular touchdown run in the first half, and that was. 22 yard play. He flips it to the speedy Schwartz, world class sprinter. And he's all the way down inside the Aggie 30. Second time we've seen this play, the little end around where they chance to stop him, did not. Nick's another fake. Nick's another touchdown. And Auburn reclaims the lead. What kind of an effect does Bigsby have on a deep? First and ten. Here comes a blitz for AM. Buddy Johnson through the middle. Now he's trying to run down Shivers from behind. And Sean tripped up as he crossed the 45-yard line. Buddy Johnson. 20 or 30 yards away. Here's Tank Bigsby. Where has he been? Rested. And well rested. He runs all the way to the 11-yard line. Great blocking on the left side. Chip shot for Carlson, and it's good. And the brothers Carlson, his brother Daniel. Had it. Nice run. Good decision to keep it by Bond. He's across midfield, scampers out of bounds at the honor. 48-yard line. We're down to 218 to go in the third quarter. Just a straight little lead option. They're going to option the end man. And he gets Christian Tut kind of in that bind. Tut takes one step towards the pitch man. Mr. to Bond's left. And they run to the right. Bob Achane. Boy, every time they've given it to him today, something good has happened. Taken down by Jalen Simpson. It's another AM first down. Just the old goal situation where maybe they could use their regular kicker set small. Non felt pressure from behind on target. And a diving catch made for a first down by Chase Lane at the 20 yard line. Booth is not stopping the action. So on we go. Non down the seam. Deflected and caught for a touchdown. Weidermeyer has it after it looked like it was going to be. Intercepted by a disconsolate Zacoby McClain. Mon looking for his favorite target. Doesn't get the ball quite high enough. McClain gets both hands on it, but Weidemeyer there to catch the deflection. And McClain did everything right. He read the quarterback's eyes. 45 yard punt. AM with the ball and a lead. And a tough mm -hmm. run by Isaiah Spiller. He gets 11 and a first down. Here's Matt Barron. Mon called a culture changing victory. They haven't lost since that game. Weidermeyer, another first down. He's across the 45. 39 for the year, leading all SEC tight ends. Option. Mon keeps it. Good idea. First down, 41 yard line of Auburn. 
some hands on him at the line of scrimmage. Play clock at two. Second and 11. They do throw a deep ball to an open man. Carr! Smith inside the five-yard line. When you run a fade from the slot, you've got a lot of field to work with. A little stutter step. That throws Official Joe Christian Tut. And Kellen Mond found Anaya Smith. See much eye formation from Texas A&M. Spiller leading the way. Anaya Smith has the touchdown. Isaiah Spiller becomes fullback on that play. I'm sure he's not used to doing that easy either, but watch the left side of the line and the lead block by Isaiah Spiller. And Anaya Smith just falls in. Almost midway through the fourth quarter now. Nick's under the rest. There's also a flag down where you'd expect a holding call. He was chased out of bounds with a loss of a couple. See if they can create some separation. Nix checks it down. Shivers gets rocked and cannot bounce away. Miles Jones there for AM. And this is going to be two straight three and outs at the worst possible time. Official for timeout for an injured player. They might blitz. They don't do it much. And they rush just four. Mond steps up, has some running room. Has the first down. Big play by Mond, who with that run makes history. He goes over 1,500 career rushing yards. Uh, just a great decision. The kind of decision you expect from a guy who has played and started and won as many games as Kellen Mond. Here are the numbers for Tebow in Florida and for Dak at Mississippi State. And now Kellen Mond, who's really number one in almost every category for quarterbacks at Texas A&M. Six out of nine, the Aggies today on third down. This is third and four. Again, just a four-man rush. And Mond is on target again. Anaya Smith, first down with a couple of yards to spare. To keep his team right where they want to be at the number five ranking. And keep it on the ground. Spiller, first down and much more to the 25-yard line. And a little up so much running game. For Texas A&M, I've been very, very impressed, not just today, but watching them on film coming into this ball game of, of how well they played. And again, when you get to this point in the year, Sean, and your offensive line, the same five guys start every game and they're healthy, that is a huge advantage. 33-yard attempt. And it is just barely good. Looked like it was heading directly into the right upright into the last minute. Leaned left and got through. And AM is about to end this three game losing streak head to head with Auburn. Wow. <laughs> There's a noticeable difference in the kind of atmosphere around the team since that win. There's a belief they could do something really big. Well, this is the longest win streak they've had since Jimbo's been there. The recruiting has been good. They're, uh, they're in a great position. Solid looking Need to keep doing their part, likely with two regular seeds and games left, and then hope that they get that help. But it's quite possible that they'll get the help. Thirty-one twenty is the final. A and M finishes the game with 510 yards of total offense. Mond 18 out of 23 for 196 and two touchdowns. He also ran for one, his 20th rushing touchdown of his career. Joining Johnny Manziel, Joel Hunt, Bucky Richardson as the only a and quarterbacks who have ever scored 20 rushing touchdowns. Bo Nix 15 for 23 for 144. Some memorable runs. He had his first career two rushing touchdown game. Rushed for 49 yards and all. Had about his for Auburn. Here's Allison Williams. Thank you guys very much. Coach Fisher, Auburn was able to keep this close for much of the game. What enabled your guys to pull away and get this road? I just think we're growing up as a team and understanding how to play. 
the momentum swings don't bother us as much anymore, and we learn to play the next play, do what you control, what you control, and answer and drive. Had a big, we were 17 to, when they were ahead, and we got them stopped for a field goal. Then we could go get the drive, then we got another drive, then we got another drive, and got first downs at 8 o'clock. Critical plays in the game. Our guys are growing up and knowing how to play those plays. What impressed you the most about your offense and what you guys were able to do in the run the, game? The consistency. The diversion of runes we had, the consistency and the different things we did, the packages, and how hard our guys run our offensive line did a heck of a job, and we blocked well up front. What will your message be to this team about the focus and mentality they need to close out the season and position themselves for the playoffs? Get ready to play Ole Miss next week. This lasts for 24 hours in the morning. We get ready to play one game at a time. Thank you, Jimbo. Thank you. He deserves a lot of credit. He's a terrific game manager, play caller, puts his players in position to best utilize their skills. Big win for AM. Very much alive in the college football playoff picture. 31 20, the final score for the two Todds and Allison. Sean sending you back to the studio once again. Here's Matt Berry.